everybody welcome back this is Kim and I'm really glad you're here if you're a DoorDash driver today you may have had a hard time using the app to see last week's earnings um, for at least half the day every time I open the app and went to the earnings page I would get this error unable to successfully deserialize JSON object um, so it was definitely an app issue. I don't think that um, there's any question there. It seems like this same error happens a lot. So I wanted to look into what was causing it. Um, anyways, before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that. And if this answers any questions for you, please also click like, that would be great. And if you have any comments or questions, or if I'm saying something that's incorrect, please put it down in the comments. Um, that'd be great. I'm sure everyone would like to read what you have to say. So let's get started. Okay, so I was trying to see my earnings for last week. Obviously, that's what caused this problem. And this was today, March 15th, 2021. And everything looked normal in the app. App opened fine. I clicked on the earnings tab everything looks good so far until I click on last week's total and then I get this error it um, was a little concerning the first couple times but then as I went on through the day and it kept happening I I mean I knew they would fix it eventually but how long would that take I don't know it ended up only being probably half the day that I had this error then it finally fixed. There was no update that I noticed in the app, but it probably happened in the back end. Anyways, this is not something that the support reps can fix, obviously, but hopefully someone fixes it quick. And they did. Um, what is a JSON error? I'm gonna kind of go over what this is. This is tech speak, and I am a techie person, and I don't even really understand exactly what they're saying, but here is what. I found. So what does it mean? JSON is a format that encodes objects in a string. Serialization can convert these complex objects into byte strings for such use. After the byte strings are transmitted, the receiver will have to recover the original object from the byte string. This is known as deserialization. Okay, so let's see. What is JSON? It stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It is a lightweight format for storing and transporting data, which makes sense because that's our pay data that was in there. JSON is often used when data is sent from a server to a web page, which is also what's happening. It's coming from the server to our app. Serialization is the process of converting an object into a stream of bytes to store the object or transmit it to memory, a database, or a file. So it's taking the data and turning it into a file. Um, its main purpose is to save the state of an object in order to be able to recreate it when needed. So this is what was not working. Now that that's clear as mud, um, I found several instances of this error being searched on Google. I mean, a lot. Here were some dates um, of, of Google searches that people were looking for that exact text string of the same error that we were receiving. So uh, June 2017, October, September, January, Jan you know. You could see it's been happening quite a bit. There were a lot more. This was just this was just a sampling. So it seems like the DoorDash app gets this one error a lot. So whatever they're doing when they're updating, they must mess with something that messes up the serialization. I'm not a programmer, so I'm not really sure what that would be. So the effect of the error, well, the app issue is different each time. So it's not always that they can't get to pay. Sometimes people were unable to even do a delivery. Some people were unable, the app would come, it would come up when they were trying to accept an offer. Or sometimes it would just come up when they were trying to open the app. Um, there's a lot of different times when this error pops up. And um, 
it might be one of those errors that isn't really describing what's going on. It could be a generic error that pops up that doesn't really mean what it says. I'm not really sure. Um, anyways, this error seems like a common one if anything is wrong with the app. Maybe as they try to introduce new features, they break old ones. Or if they're trying to make something more streamlined or quicker or look a little different, they kind of break the whole app. I'm not a programmer, but I am a techie person. I've not been able to find the reason behind the specific error for this specific problem that was occurring today. But I did want to look up what the definition of this error was. And that's what I, you know, was sharing with you. Well, I hope it gets fixed soon. Well, it did. So when I made this presentation, this PowerPoint presentation, it was um, about lunchtime. And as of that time, it was still not fixed. But then, about an hour later, I just happened to pull up the app um, and it was working. So I'm not sure how they fix it, why they fix it, who fix it. I don't really care, but it's working now. So I know a lot of people were panicking. Oh my God, I need to see this. I need to get this information. I think everything is safe on their servers. What may not show on the app at any given moment, I don't think it's going to be a crucial error. I think they, they could probably always fix whatever's happening. And I trust that they keep the actual raw data in a safe place and hopefully it's backed up and is existing in more than one location. So if something happens that they have it um, secured for us, I would think so, I would hope so. Um, anyways, I don't think I answered any questions really. I just wanted to show you what I found and I'm just relieved that they fixed it. And uh, I hope everybody's app is now showing their information from last week as well as this week and everything else that you want to see. And I hope that everyone is having a great evening and that's it for today. Thanks for listening.